Good evening, the time is 9.57 p.m. The news headline. Bola Ahmed Tinubu death is not going to be a loss to Yorubas alone. The news in full. This pan Igbo social cultural organization, Ohanizi Indigo, on Friday said the Southeast needs Bola Tinubu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC if they are to stand a chance to produce Nigeria's president in 2023. Dim Uche Okuku, the deputy president general of Oanese Indigo worldwide, said Tinubu controls the vote in Yoruba land. Hence, the Igbos need him to produce Nigerian presidents. Speaking exclusively with Daily Post, Okuku she urged the people of the Southeast to show solidarity to the APC national leader over his health. Okuku pointed out that the former governor of Lagos State was the most benevolent Nigerian politician after Amadou Bello. According to Okuku, most of my people don't understand why it is important to express solidarity with Ashiwaju at this moment. The truth is that even if we are to produce an Igbo president, we cannot do it without Yoruba votes. And that vote is in the hands of one man, and I know he has firm control of Yoruba land. I studied in Ife, and I understand Nigeria perfectly. In 1959, the progressives lost government in this country to the conservatives because Zik, that is Azikwe, and the Wolowo disagreed. In 1979, they lost again because Zeke and Awolowo disagreed. The Northern Progressives always lost on the Southern Progressives to come together. Ashiwaju is one of the few uh, remaining Progressives from the UPN, AG, ACN, and today to APC. He is one of the few remaining alive. People don't understand his role, which is to lead the old to the new. This is why he has lots of influence in Yoruba land. I have said this severally, that Tinubu is the only Nigerian that is politically benevolent. No Nigerian can nominate his boy to become Speaker of the House of Representatives, who is bigger than him. The highest Tinubu has ever attained was the governor of Lagos. The vice president was his attorney general in Lagos. This is what they call a large art. The only person who exhibited these qualities in Nigeria was Amadou Bello, who allowed Tafawa Balewa to become the prime minister while he was in Kaduna. What is causing the problem of the South is political greed, and we are cultivating a, a crab culture. If you put crabs in a basket for three years, they will be there with no es one escaping. We need to copy from Ashiwaju a lot. What I cannot do, another person should do it. On the vice president's issue, Tinubu, who is a Muslim, asked Oshibanjo to go because he is a Christian who is far younger than him. The only political position Oshibanjo had before becoming the vice president was the attorney general of Lagos state nobody has moved from that position to vice president in nigeria's history apart from oshibanjo and ashiwaju allowed it if we follow the big lessons of ashiwaju we would not complain the bane of southern politics is what uh, is that we don't want another person to be stronger than us and we are not getting it right we need him alive his death is not going to be a loss to Yorubas alone, but to Nigeria. And the time is 10.02 p.m. The analysis is that uh, the Ohanese Indigo, uh, you know, they, they are pan, so, uh, they, they are one of the foremost pan Igbo socio-political organization. And um, they have come to say that uh, Bola Amel Tinubu, uh, the APC national leader, his death, if because everyone knows that for quite a while now he has been on the sick bed, you know, 
uh, just trying to keep fit although uh, news have it that is feeling fine now and we have seen a whole lot of prominent politicians flying overseas to pay him a courtesy visit just like some who had gone and say that he was uh, ill and healthy and then um, some other prominent figures like that and most of the likes had paid him a courtesy visit as well you know to check on his health status and to make sure that, that he's fine and um, you know the feedbacks are still at that uh, he's, he's doing so well and then um, the deputy president to the pan Igbo socio-cultural uh, socio-political organization one is the indigo on friday has said that bola ahmed Tinubu, the national leader of the all party uh, all progressive congress apc uh that uh his death would not you know be a loss to uh, to, to yorubas alone but to be a loss to nigeria because uh just like the southeast are actually clamoring especially the one is indigo to have the presidential uh, bid being zoned to southeast, uh, the deputy is making uh, some insights here, pointing out the fact that if that dream or that wish would come to pass, then uh, they have to make sure that uh, you know Bola Ahmed Tinobu is actually alive and you know seek uh, his support in this bid. Uh, speaking exclusively with Daily Post. Okuku urged the people of the Southeast to show solidarity you know, to the APC national leader over his ill health, that his death will actually amount to nothing and it will not benefit any one of them. It will not affect the Yoruba alone, it will actually affect every citizen of the country. He pointed out that the former governor of Lagos State was one of the, uh, was like, is even one of the most benevolent Nigerian politicians of today. After Amadou Bilo, he noted that um, he knows about the politics of Nigeria. You know that he studied in Ife, and then in 1959, uh, one of the reasons why uh, the progressives actually lost government in this country, you know, was because of the conservatives, uh, because you know, uh, you know, uh, Azikwe and Awolowo actually had some disagreements back then, and it affected both of them. You know, and in 1979 again, they even lost again because Zeke uh, and Awolowo also, you know, had some disagreement. And then um, out of all these parties that were reigning there, the UPN, AGSN, and today to APC, uh, Okuku actually noted that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is actually, uh, you know, the one of the few that are remaining alive. And then um, his role is actually... Uh, should not just be underestimated because he has a lot of influence in Nigeria and then um, in also in Yoruba land and that is because of his benevolent act you know making Oshibanjo rise to vice president without considering um you know too much and then um, you know Oshinja being the first attorney general to move to that of a state that's Lagos state to move to vice president it has never happened in the history of Nigeria before and then um, you know making his boy to be the speaker of the house of representatives which is bigger than him and then the height he has been ever been to uh, is the governor of his state so the 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 summary is that uh the citizens of the country especially southeast need to ensure that they pray that the health of bala Tinobu is actually uh st stable and uh, because they actually need him if they are going to stand the chance to achieve their aim to have the presidency being zoned to southeast and that uh, they need to follow the lessons of Ashiwaju because he has actually portrayed that one of the reasons why he's actually strong especially in Nigeria's uh, political history is because of his good arts and then um, you know being benevolent to the citizens and to the citizens of the country especially his political member thanks for listening good evening